Hello. Are you a straight white male? Do you have enough money to live comfortably? Do you feel excluded from oppression? Have you ever wondered what the inside of a women's changing room or refuge looks like? Well, hopefully this video can help you. This is how to be a trans woman. Now, first of all, you to start off with, you must be a man if you were born a girl. Sorry, ladies, this is one of those things that is not for you. So first of all, we need to feminize ourselves because women are, are feminine. So first of all, we'll start with the hair because um, traditional lesbians, they usually have short, practical, quite stylish hair, but um, trans lesbians, oh, that's another thing actually. Not only are you a woman, uh, you are a lesbian, you can be a lesbian too, if you are already straight, that is. Um, so you were a straight white man, now you're a lesbian. So um, you can take part in pride marches, uh, all things like that. As, as a world of opportunities. Like, I don't have the uh, money to be able to afford to buy a wig, just for one video at least. Um, so I, I made one out of card, uh, well thick paper and sellotape and some scissors so I'll just put this on this is this is pink your hair doesn't have to be pink but pink is a a very important color um, in fact if you have a a toddler say who is who uh, is, is a boy but he likes pink or he plays with dolls instead of trucks there is a, a very good chance that you can um, get him uh, put on hormones and uh, get his genitals altered. Uh, so maybe look into that one, if if that, if if that's what you're into. Okay. So uh, first thing you have to know about hair is is the flick. So we'll do it with the head as well, oh, like that, like a shampoo advert. And uh, this this will uh, this will convince people. That you are indeed a woman who will help to convince them. Uh, next thing is makeup. Uh, obviously I've got all this this beard here I, I couldn't be bothered to shave it off but um, obviously uh, women don't naturally have uh, well traditional women i.e. Uh, adult human females uh, um, they don't naturally have hair on their face or on most of their body in fact so there will be a lot of shaving involved I'm afraid it is a bit of a swings and roundabout situation but I've got my my makeup here I've got an application uh, applicator uh, so I'm just going to use my fingers so a bit of reddish colour for the lip that's it lovely yeah. Beautiful. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, and then we need to make some blue for the eyes. Uh oh, my wig's falling off. Should I put a bit of sellotape underneath it to her? Uh... Anyway, yes, I eyes. I have to take these glasses off. I can't. I can't see now. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to do it with my glasses on somehow. Um. No, I'm going to get a bit closer. I've got a mirror behind the camera here so I can see what I'm doing. Excuse me a minute, just admire my my flowing locks. My my womanly flowing locks. As you can see, it's getting harder and harder to tell that I'm, that I'm actually male. Uh, a bit more, a bit more. And that one. Yeah, there you go. See that? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so good. You can already see that I'm looking a lot more feminine in my face. Maybe you're questioning whether or not I was in fact a man to begin with, which is a, a good sign. Uh, the next thing is clothing. Obviously, you don't want to. I'm going to take this off for a bit. It's a, quite annoying. Next thing is clothing. Obviously, you don't want to wear baggy t-shirts like this because women don't like to wear 
frumpy clothes, they like uh, short skirts, high heels, things like that, little strappy tops. Uh, so uh, my mate left this here when she stayed a while ago. So yeah, that's, yeah, obviously all this, this hair is going to have, have to go if you're going to do this properly. And obviously I'm looking a bit, a bit flat at the moment, so old friend, toilet paper. I'm sure you knew some some girls in your school who used to do this. I'm sure you appreciated it at the time. Uh, yeah, unmistakably boob there. Obviously, you don't have to go through hormone treatment and uh, alter your body with major surgery. In fact, most trans women tend not to they tend to keep their genitals and just sort of you know make up the hair whatever that basically the uh, the fundamentals of what it means to be a woman that's all you need uh yeah put this t-shirt back on i'm feeling a bit exposed um so yeah what else do you need to know i suppose Oh yes, the voice. The voice is very, very important. I can't believe I forgot that. Um, basically, you need to make your voice sound like a man's voice, but slightly higher, like this. Uh, yes, and you do all the, um, the body language, the hair flicking. Yeah, the hair flicking. Oh, I'm a woman. Just keep practicing it. Uh, maybe record yourself. Uh, you know. Um, Listen back to it. Uh, oh yeah, and uh, learn some chants. Uh, the, uh, some good ones are trans women are women. Trans women are women. And uh, hey hey ho ho. What is it? Um, hey hey ho ho. My cock and balls got some something like that. Uh, <clears throat> I'll stop talking like this now. Um, and the final thing to say is that um. Uh, rape and death threats against women are earning points in the in the trans community. Uh, a good uh, litmus test is uh, if you end up on turfisaslur.com, uh, that's you've made it basically. Uh, check that site. I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, see see the sorts sorts of things you should be you should be saying. I think that's about it. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. I'd be happy to help. And good luck uh, with your transition, and I uh, hope you find some traditional lesbians who are willing to have sex with you. See you, mate. Bye-bye.